Welcome if you kiss. We're going to be looking at um, love. Uh, using the lovers, lo using the lovers oracle. Okay, but it could be to do with any relationship in your life. Okay, that is important to you. So just be aware of that. Okay, so a fucus, three cards for a fucus, please. What does a fucus need guidance right about right now? Okay, okay, okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. So, a few cards. First card up here is, oh, that's nice. Okay, so it says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Hmm. Love that. So, let's look into that. We've got two other cards here, which we will get to, but let's look at this one first. Okay, acceptance. Tell me more about acceptance, please, for a few years. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So it's really working out what is in our control and what is beyond our control, right? In our scope of change. Okay, so I'm going to take this one because that came out first. Okay, so Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Hmm, interesting. See, this is the thing because acceptance, yeah, it's you know, easy to say, just accept it, like, you know, you can't change it, blah, blah, blah. But there are things that need to be worked through with that, right? And it's not just easy to go, oh, well, you mind me. You know, let's move on. It's not that easy sometimes. Hey, so, you know, in that regard, I think it's important for you to do the healing that you need to do. We have Trove. Trove here. Yeah, this is picking and choosing, though, what it is that you want to focus on, what it is that you want to keep in your life, what it is that needs he needs healing, and what you can let go of without really, it's like, yeah, I'm holding on to that and I don't need to anymore, you know? Um. So in that regard... I think that's really important. Okay, so we also have currents here. And this is about you. I feel like kind of being fluid as you go through that energy of that healing. Uh, so that you can actually go, okay, I've got this. I have all the tools that I need to wade my way through this. Um, so in that regard, um, I kind of feel like here if you could say some of you may not believe that you have what it takes in order to get yourself through this this part and I think it's important to have faith within yourself to know that in fact you do know what you need to do and for some of you it might be that you need to go and um, call on someone or uh, you know learn um, something about something uh, in order to help you through what it is that you're going through okay so you know just know that you have it in you the answers are there to guide you to which direction you need to go in. Okay, uh, angels of miracle, angel of miracles. So you've got Archangel Raphael here to call on. You've got angel of miracle as well. Open your heart and expect a miracle. And I'm seeing the little bubba here. Okay, and I feel like if this is concerning some of your children, that um, just know that they are protected. Okay, um, and ask the angel of miracle miracles to look over them and Archangel Raphael as well okay so yeah look at this we have the labyrinth here it popped out first and yeah look it can feel like a maze waiting your way through what it is that needs to be weighed way you know actually waded through right there's a goal there's a goal that some of you have an end point to which you want to get but for some reason, it feels like at every turn, there's an obstacle that you come up against or things aren't going as smoothly as what you thought they would. Or um, it's just not as easy, you know, and um, that's all part of it. You know, that's all part of the lessons. It's just not that easy. You know, um, we've got gentleness here as well. And uh, this is about you being gentle with yourself right and and look if this is in relationship to a relationship is this 
Did I even say that right? Sorry. If this is in relation to a relationship, right, you have just not one component in that relationship generally, right? Unless it's the relationship with yourself, of course. But even then, there's a lot of components in that. But anyhow, you know, this could be you. This could be with your children. This could be with your partner. This could be with your siblings. This could be with lots of family members. This could be with co-workers, whatever. Okay? As you're going through this maze and you're coming up against obstacles and you come up against a wall that is blocking you, you have to turn around and go back and find another way. Be gentle with yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it. Okay? Make it as easy on yourself as possible with your soft talk about what is going on here, okay, because um, being harsh on yourself is not going to help the situation, it's not going to push you any harder, it's actually going to cause you to feel more unsupported by yourself, okay, if anyone can support you through this, it is you, so make sure you do so, okay, so balance, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Balance. Tell me more about balance, please. For a few kiss. Money. Okay. Money. We've got money here first. Find a way to abundance. It's about looking forward. It's about looking forward here and um, making sure, for first off, that you're not overspending or spending on things, especially around this time of year, right? Because it can be at quite a pressurizing time, okay? Um, I love this because this here is when we're talking about balance, right? Um, and we're talking about finding a way to abundance, this here is going in and centering yourself to calm yourself down because especially this time of year, people can feel under the nail and it, the pressure is can be intense, you know. So this is about you going and taking the time that you need, doing any breathing exercises that you need to do in order for you to get yourself centered again, okay, to get all your emotions under control. Um I want to say, I just want to talk to you for a minute about box breathing. If you haven't heard of that, you breathe in for four seconds, you hold for four seconds, you breathe out for four seconds, and you hold for four seconds. Okay, so you're sort of going around, you know, like this, and you're doing that breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. That lowers your cortisol levels, and, um, and that just may help you to transmute whatever negative emotions that are happening for you right now, especially in relation to money, to bring you back into balance. Keeping your balance is really important for you right now here, if you kiss, okay? We have face your fears, release the power of fear. And this could be over money, okay? Because, you know, everyone says, oh, I want to be rich, like I want to win the lotto, blah, blah, blah. But then when you ask someone, what is the root? Money is the root of all and they generally say evil, right? Uh, wrong set of cards. Um, but, you know, that if, if that's your first answer, then that gives you an indication of how you truly do view money. So really consider that, you know. Um, okay, so tell me more about facial fears for a few kiss, please. Okay, we have, wow, shadow and light. Yeah, see, this is this balance, right? Perfect. This is so perfect. You couldn't get, get any more obvious with the balance here. Yeah, we have fears. Some fears are necessary, you know. If there's a, um, I don't know, if there's a bear about to chase you down um, and eat you up. Yeah, that fear is real. You need to run. You need to listen to that. Don't stop and try and have a chat with the bear and talk it down, you know listen to what it is that your uh, natural instincts are telling you, right? But work out what is real and what is not, 
okay? Um, shed light on these fears. Shed light on the shadow, okay? To see what it is that you actually need to let go of so that you can get yourself into balance here, okay? So the other card here is sexual union, okay? Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, so that is sexual union. I love that. Love that. This is about balance again, right? That that um, sacral center is that sexual center. Sacral chakra, I should say. Okay. Okay, so cheer up. Cheer up. Live in the moment. So funny because I really that saying cheer up seems low, like cheer up, like get over it. And it's like, oh, sometimes it's just not that easy. So I want to acknowledge, I don't want to, oh, I just dropped all the cards. I don't want to minimize anything for anyone who is growing, going through something heavy that needs to be sorted through. So, you know, in that regard, um, I suppose it's maybe finding things that help you lighten your life. You know, to bring the light in, to get that balance that you need, especially if you're in the darkness right now. Let me go pick up the majority of the deck on the floor here. Okay, so two cards for, let's put those back because they're just falling out, they're not jumping. Two cards for cheer up for a few kiss, please. luck right okay here we go okay so we have vision this is the vision of what it is that you want your life to look like what you want in a relationship right what you want this union um to actually be like yeah um and so this vision is gonna help you weave um into place and you know it's sort of like connecting the dots okay so you have the vision and it's like okay so if I start from here to get to my vision right because this here is your vision and you're starting from here in order to get to the vision what do I need to do and you're going to smack into those walls that don't lead you anywhere and you're going to need to come back and wade your way through and that's okay because you what you're doing is you're weaving a path you're weaving a, weaving a path that's going to allow you to go in and out of the maze as you need to. So make sure you take note of what it is that you've done, how you've made the transformation so that you can come back to that and use those tools for future use. OK, um, self-reliance. Love this. This is beautiful. OK, don't be afraid to fly solo. OK. Whether this is with the sexual union and learning what it is that you find pleasurable for yourself, okay, or in a relationship, don't be afraid. Know that you have the goods in order to make that happen for yourself, okay, whatever that looks like. Bloom, this is you coming into your own and really shining, allowing your flowers to bloom, okay. Cosmic child, yeah, this is appreciating who you are, who you truly are as a cosmic being that you are on this earth to bring through the beauty that you actually hold within. You know, this is what the world needs more of. This is your relationship with yourself. Yeah? This is what it is. You're connecting with your sacral center, your sacral chakra. Okay, and under, look it up, look up all about the sacral chakra and see what that's all about so that you can understand what it is that you need to do right now in order to have this transformation happen for yourself. Okay, in order for this relationship with yourself to actually strengthen. Even if you're in a relationship with someone else, okay, make sure that the relationship with yourself First and foremost is as solid as it can be because that is the most important relationship of your entire lifetime. Okay, if you kiss, and do you know what? You're totally worth that, 100%. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you, bye-bye.